taking you to this location here it's known as Grotniki this is Girsh here's the lodge it's Girsh and this is where we are heading this is where the politicians used to gather and I speak very quietly because I'm inside of the library where I, of course I'm not supposed to talk okay precise location this time again I'm taking you right back to the lake and it's known as a Linda Lake. As a matter of fact, you can see two lakes right here. That's what you can see. Two lakes. And keep in mind, you can also see the road which goes to Azorkov. See? The house I will be talking about, one house that is gone, is right here somewhere like this. You could actually see one from the road. That one is gone, and another one, the gentleman confirms me, is a little house that was located right here on the beach, which is also gone. That's where he and I met right here. This is where we met and this is where we have spoken. Right here. There was a little house here on the beach. It's gone. He confirms me about the little house. And then let me see that. Uh, yeah, well actually there was a house right here that also is gone this is yet another one in this house here by the way this is where Zaman Netanyahu used to stay right here and you could see one from the road and I believe it's this one right here that you see it it was like a big palace old building rebuilt uh, I think renovated I assume this thing here I don't even recognize this one here um, might be a completely new building evidently I have posted a movie and something is funny about it I do not recognize this one here actually this is the old villa very old there was one right here gone this one here if I properly remember was built probably sometimes hmm oh, I estimate this here to be built sometimes in <coughs> before 2010 this thing here uh, it's like apartments I think is what it is when you are there you definitely know better you can see it um, and so this is how you orient yourself and this is a little house that lady owns right by the Linga, Linda Lake here and this is also you're gonna hear me talk with Right here, the gentleman confirms me large number presence of Americans in this area here. People from all over the world, basically. Crowds, a lot. Politicians. Okay, Jinkui. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this was recorded yesterday. This was audio recorded yesterday. In the first part, you're going to hear gentlemen from Grotniki. Uh, in about 2002, 2003, 2004, I estimate it was about 23 years old. And you can hear, he's going to confirm my statements. 
there was plenty plenty of Americans plenty of Americans um, right by the lake where I am it's called Lake Linda we are standing right there and we are looking right across the fence where there is a fence lake and just as I have already explained that was like reserved for American selected people and also Israelis were there and it was people business people kinds of people they had party uh, they had a good time Czech president was there Miller Zeman uh, and so on a lot of politicians a lot and this was a young man at the time as he stays alone he was very young back then now he's 40 it was a biker I met yesterday we met and he did exactly what he would promised he would do the reason why he did this is because you guys mistreated people in Grotniki not only it was also resentment since Gersh but in there was quite a few resentments there was a lot of if I put the nose like this it is Americans and others they behave like you know they own everything disrespectful towards natives and yeah I think it must have been it must have been early in the 2015 probably 2013 or something like this he did we were by the lake and he told me he's gonna tell all about it he said he's gonna give me a confirmation about my account my being there but he hasn't done that but what he did was he did confirmed what I stayed in 2002 2003 this is a native right there from Grotniki he did confirmed presence of Americans 2004 also 2005 in fact a lot a lot a lot of people and it was a lot of people it was a lot of business people their kids and also some MK Ultra staff members that had me there also was a home built and that home is gone and he also confirmed me that I could not get to that you cannot get to that area um, because it's fenced maybe I'm gonna be able to demonstrate this through um, through the Google Maps somehow it was a house by the lake that house is gone and another one is still left that one you have seen that one so that's that then in the second part you're gonna hear the lady which whose house I have already demonstrated we were in one of the first houses when we came in 2002 2003 2004 and she would rent this house in 2005 and so on lady is elderly lady now she must be in her 70s I estimate she knew me very well who I was though this is a very very mind very sharp minded lady I am going to give you what I remember about her in 2000 and 2003 2004 what happened was Kaczynski booked her at a hospital um, they got them in a the hospital they got them somehow um, as a pretext as an excuse as an alibi a hospital file in reality it was cash uh, this is how they did with a lot of people uh, and they would move in we were in that house I was in that house occasionally a few times I was so I remember one very well and then it was about if she's gonna give me an account or not and basically confirm my being in there my knowing the house and so on and this was the lady that was she just didn't like me I'm not gonna say she didn't have a reason not to like me but she didn't like me on the first place and it's the kind of lady that would throw you in a grave and bury you 
Uh, look it in your eyes and pretty much tell you're dead because I'm gonna tell anything about anything. I don't like people like this personally. Um, I don't like this at all. She didn't like me, I don't like her, to tell you the truth. She's older now, but she didn't change in any way. She has still got the same character. And yes, she collected good money for the renting the house. The politicians tried to talk her into maybe American staff members, I don't know who it was, but they tried to talk her to please help me and so on. She would not, no way she would. And you can also hear her, how she basically look in your eyes and tell you the stuff. And this is the stuff that is pretty harsh. Like I said, on one side you have a people that would do just about anything for you and try to help you out no matter what, they want to help you out. And on the other side you also have people like this, you have people that would bury you alive, literally. You also have people that believe that there isn't such a thing like a top secret in respect to the case like this. You know, you have all kinds of people. Um, nevertheless, I'm being nice to her. I ask her. Borut Pahar was the one who loved this house. He stayed in this house for many times he did. And I'm not a friend with Borut Pahar. That might also have something to do with it. Her husband, I believe, died. Her husband was the one who wanted to give me an account. There were two. She was very, very negative about me. He actually was very positive about me. He wanted to help me out. You see, this this is already between the husband and wife stuff happening. Uh, he died, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I have no idea, maybe in 2008, maybe something like this. I cannot know everything. I don't know, 2006. I don't know, but this is approximate account of what I basically remember, and this already is quite admirable. Okay, so that's pretty much that lady. If you say that I was not in your house, that's okay too. Now let's go, let me play this for you. Top secret, no, no secret. Uh, swimming is forbidden, I'm asking. And there are some people there, yeah, you can go. I remember when we were here, I met the gentleman or the biker, 40 years old, strong guy, from Grotniki, native. So, uh, if anybody would know, he would. Uh, and I remember him too. He came to me. At first, at first, you know, uh, this is MK Audrey. At first, it doesn't come to you, but. Yeah, later on it did came to me and we met on exactly the spot where he told me we're gonna met. And yesterday I was at the lake and we met at the exact spot he told me we're gonna meet. I just want to thank from the bottom of my heart to this gentleman. He came with a bicycle from behind and I moved on the side and where he came right next to me and he stopped and we started to talk. Yes, I'm from Grotniki, I'm native from here. Yeah. Grew up here. Uh, I asked him, maybe you remember me. Uh, 
Okay, I say maybe you remember me. I was here in 2002, 2003, 4, 5, and so on. Uh, we would come here from Northern America, from the US. There were, I'm pointing out with the hands where it's fenced. And I said there is like a private beach over there. Um, and I continue, I will say, is a home. There was a home over there. I said, do you remember? Do you remember the politicians? Do you remember Americans, politicians here? He said, I remember. I remember. And there was, but he said, there was a lot, a lot of people here. Americans, Americans, yes, he says. Czech, and so on. And he says, yes, and now, now it's empty, it's nothing. I tell him in 2006 it all ended. And I point with the hand and I said there was there was a home he says yes there is no home anymore home is gone and I say and behind there there was yet another bigger home and still there is that's where this big politicians were also he says yes. Now and then we talk about the Grotniki that is very beautiful. He asked me where I live. I tell him I would love to live here if I had the money, whatever. I ask him about how old are you? He says 40. I'm 47, I tell him. I said, you were a young man back then. You were 23 years old man back then, I tell him. He said, damn it, he said, yes, I was really young back then. These are the kids they associated with younger kids. Americans and so on. So he, he fulfills his promise and I want to thank him very much for it. Now there is a home. This is the home where I was with Borat Pahor, now Slovenian president Borat Pahor, and this is this vicious lady that comes out and basically tells you in the face I know nothing, I remember nothing, this and that. I don't know you, you were never inside of my house and this and that. Yeah. Folks, this is real. This is real. This is Poland. This is real. This is supposed to be a top secret that Donald Trump was in Grotniki right there. Elon Musk and so on. All these people. This is a top secret. It's a secret no more. It's a secret that has fallen apart now. This is how the politicians meet behind the curtain. I am not sure about the mainstream media. What is this at all? I mean, the mainstream media is, this is what the top secret is. They create this kind of stuff. You can hear the lady talking behind. She is elderly lady now, but back then this was a beautiful looking lady in 2002. Was the politicians, they fall for her too. Wait a minute, uh, I want to see something. I think I, I got a good luck right now. I have to stop this. I think I think I have a good luck now. Let's see. In Polish they say Biedronka, they say. In Slovenian it's a Pika Polonica. 
this is a Polish one I guess <laughs> maybe this video is gonna bring me one I don't know why she landed right here on me okay let's continue with this one more time she says something about remember and so I want to know what okay um, I I say hello to her she is outside at her house over there now this is a public area folks this is a park basically this is where her house is um, I just want to look at the house once again and since I see this lady I thought I could get some really really useful feedback from her like I tried to describe the house on the inside and she just doesn't want um, fact of the matter however is that I know exactly what the house looks like on the inside even today I remember I know how the rooms are arranged I know what went on I know what was rebuilt in the house I know what was Obudovano, I remember what was what they have done, what kind of work was done in the house. So, you know, when you say that I was not in your house, when you say that we don't know each other and stuff like this, I don't know how this is going to work for you, lady. Let's continue with it. She said, what do I remember? I remember everything. In 2002 I tried to talk with her how the doors looked like, she does not want to cooperate, it's like no, 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 there are two doors that will take you to the house, the front door and then one more door inside, which is changed, but she doesn't want, she doesn't want, I said 2002, 2003 I was in her house, she no longer wants anything, it's, hair goes up, no, no, and I tell her I was in the room over there she is looking at me I tell a lot of politicians was here in 2003 she says we were here nobody ever was here for sure not nobody was here nobody in Tralala you see this is the kind of stuff that Russians cannot do right that's the kind of stuff that only Polish police can take care they can give you stuff like this they can get it done for you, you know. we did not rent this to anybody oh, you know I stay calm I am thankful to her anyways just for her taking time and talking with me it's nice it's very good I thank her very much thank you so much whatever she's got to say uh, everything is a lie it's false it's not nice of her to be like this this is not nice um, this is what I call a pedo type of uh, culture this is you know this is the kind of stuff this is the kind of stuff that promotes pedophilia it promotes a rape it promotes a pedophilia and a rape culture uh, it gives the hope to certain societies that something like this actually could exist in this world and I call the mainstream media 
to distance yourself from this type of culture too because this is not promoting healthy work. When the secrets like this start to develop, there is a whole lot of bad things that happen as well. Anyhow, I thank you very much and I leave, I go away and that's it, that's the end of it for me. Uh, so you can see on one side, a gentleman, it's nothing he wouldn't do for you. And then you have on the other side, you have a lady that made money with it and does not remember absolutely anything. But this is how the things are. Uh, what goes around comes around and this is just more proofs about MK Ultra. I should say facts, because this case definitely is factually proven, case beyond any doubt. Now that, that's really interesting, the beautiful home uh, along the lake, I was inside of it. Uh, the lady just does not remember anything, she does not remember any American politicians, any politicians that would be here including myself who was inside of this house uh, including myself who knows how the home looks like on the inside and just about maybe two minutes earlier the gentleman alone suggested that there was a heavy presence here of americans and all kinds of politicians people business people here in 2002 2003, 2004, 2005. Um, foremost in 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005. Yeah, also in 2006. Most of the stuff that went to my memory is from 2003, 2004, 2005. Not so much about 2002, sure it is, but 2003, 4, 5. Not so much 2006, but 3, 4, and 5. You know, most of the stuff, most of the stuff that went on. Uh, right about this house is this place where we were based first inside and inside of this house. This was like number one location. And then just as a gentleman suggested when I asked him alone, there were one house demolited over there gone. But other than that, they had homes around and homes I already have explained about. So. That's how that goes, but you can see how the lady lies about, she doesn't lie only, she doesn't lie only to me, but she actually, with her lies, she counters another gentleman, that one was 40 years old, strong, healthy biker right here from Grotniki. Lady must be probably in her 70s, I would say. And I'm pretty damn sure that she waited out there because I believe that she was signaled. I believe that she was somehow told by the politicians since I have revealed the location to keep her mouth shut, to say nothing in respect to it. But she pulled the money out, she earned money with it and now she knows nothing. She sees nothing, hears nothing, knows nothing. That's all. Not only my word against her, uh, soon the whole world, basically. Tu plebanie jest zabronione, no? Plebanie jest tu zabronione, no?
Można no, 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 wyraz. No, 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 no. Tak mógłby tak spróbować. Tak. Aha, aha. <laughs> ale czy zabronione to nie wiem. Ale ty też pływali. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Przepraszam. Tam była, tam jest płaska, ja znam, nie było to. To Ja był tu, wie się o tu? Gdzie jest to? Jest dzierża? Tu jest grotny to? Jest grotny? Znaczy tu, żyje się tu? No. Ja? Może być to mnie pamiętać, ja był tu w 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, o, i tam to jest, no, plaża tam, no, a, tam zrobił jak tak prywatne plaże, to było polityko, tu, nie? Wszyscy chodzili i z Ameryki Ponosne, no. Pamiętacie, co było polityką? Było, ale tu dużo, tu dużo ludzi było. Dużo, dużo na to było. Amerykanców, no. Czechów też, Czechy były A też. A teraz już to nie, zagrożone i... Gotowo. E, u 2003 się wszystko skończyło. I potem gotowo było. A no. były tam, tam jest dom? Tak, jest, jest. Był, tam... już nie ma, dużo. Ten dom jest taki, co tam był? No, nie ma go. A tam je bil tak duži dom je. To je tije. Tam bil je politiki sve. No. Ja vam remontujem, to je možda neskanja tu kupiti. E, da bi on se njom za jabljice kupili. No. Tu je stjenčno. Grotnik je bar za stjenčno. No, to je. Bar za stjenčno. Vladno, vladno. Vladno. To je kupio i uvesluje, ne? No. A ile lat ma te wiedzy, proszę pana? Ile, ile lat ma te wiedzy? Ja? Ja. 30. 30? Ja, okay. ja mam 37. O. No. No. 2000, 2002, 2003. No ja, widzę mnie od ile lat, nie wiem, 23. 30? No to mamy 19. 19. O, to ja młody byłem. Mary był jeszcze, mary, no. mary. Mary, mary. mary. Ale pamiętacie, pamiętacie, co to było tu. Dało się, no. Dobra, uciekam. Do widzenia, pan. No. Dziękuję, do widzenia. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Ja, ja tylko bym chciał mało odświeżyć swoją pamięć. A pan tutaj dzień dobry, dzień dobry. A skąd pan tu pamięć Co? No. To ja tu pamiętam? No właśnie. Ja tu pamiętam, co tu była w 2002. Tu była, tu była jak wrata, jak była tak strak. Traki były takie i mogę się uchodzić. Ja jestem w Słowenii. Chyba chciałam mam na imię. 
No, jau 2003. Nu, tad kam tu tai bil? Bil tu tai jau domu. Kā būs O tai jau kāzi tam. Tai jau kāzi būt tam. Tu bija uz Amerikāntu, uz Amerikā ponosna. Apsīt, apsīt kādu būtu? O, tu bija dūža politika, bija Boris Pāhara. Boris Pāhara. Būtu šiems mums sveķim roku? 2003, 2004. Tur ne tūk, šie pānu pamelīvo. Pamelīvo? Nā, pamelīvo šie pānu būtu. My tu tai mieškami, tu nikogo nebylo. No, no. No. No, na pewno. To je tak, že tu si panu pomylilo, tu tai nikogo nebylo. V 2003 roku, nech pan tu tai mi nezaleva žádných kavalů. No, no, a to možná v jakým dílním palacíku, kde jsi tam byl, ale netužal. No, když my tu byli, to bylo, bychom viděli, kde, a tu tai, to tam sousady mieškají, my tu tai nikogo nebylo. Vy nedali to vynajetě? Ne. Od lat, nikomu. My tu mieskáme i tutaj nikomu, že jsme nikdy nie vynajmovali. Ani my, ani sąsiady, ani nikt. Interesant, no. No, także nie tutaj, proszę pana. To, co się pan pomylił i tego. Aha, ok. To do widzenia panu i nie pan nigdzie chodzi o stan, nie pan nigdzie zapał, nie zalewa. Bardzo dobrze. Życzę miłego dnia, panie. Do widzenia. W tym domku. Ja był w tym domku i znam, jak tam domek jest. Ale nie w 2003 roku, a po drugie to w żadnym. Przepraszam. W żadnym roku tu nic nie było, bo my tu mieszkamy 50 lat i nigdy nic nie było. Ja rozumiem, co wy mieszkacie, ale... Co vy mluvíte, co vy, co mi nebyli tu ten dom, co vy nedali ten ten dom vynajete. Bylo druhých, bylo druhých domů, co dali lidi vynajete. A to je tady. Slovenský předsedník, kde se bor pahory do ten domu. Já s ním asi obal. Dob. Barzo dobře, pane. Dobře. Pamięta tam jakiś polityk o tu? Nie. Amerykański i tak? Nic nie było, nic nie żadnego. Nic? Nie. Ale ludzie, co to tu ja chcę, to oni pamiętają. A wy nie pamiętają nic. Dobrze, panie. Do widzenia, dziękuję.